My name is Bryony Lieber, and in this conversation, I'm chatting with James Campbell, the Managing Director of Botswana Diamonds PLC. James, thank you so much for joining me today. It's really lovely to see you again. Um, I don't think I've seen you in probably two and a bit years, but I've definitely seen you all over LinkedIn. So I feel like we've been having a chat, even if it hasn't been a direct one for a while. What makes you comfortable with being so, so present? as a person on social media and LinkedIn specifically? Brian, I, I think it comes from the nature of, of my corporate background. When, when I was at De Beers, I, I was very involved with many, many things, but we had a superb public relations uh, team there who looked after many of these kind of things. But one of the kind of jobs I did at De Beers was to lead what they called then an e-business initiative. You might remember the e-business times uh, where we launched an intranet and internet and extranet. So that kind of sensitized me to social media at the beginnings of social media. Now, fast forward. 20 years. Uh, I run a junior. I'm running my fourth junior now. Wow. How do you separate yourself from other CEOs running juniors? Yeah. Not that we have many in, in South Africa, but if you go to the London Stock Exchange, Toronto Stock Exchange, Australia Stock Exchange, there are thousands of people like myself. So what are you got to do uh, in addition to doing your job well, of course, you know, that goes without saying, uh, because without a firm foundation, uh, media is, is nothing. Uh, and the guidance I was given is you've got to be authentic, you've got to be present on social media, you've, and it's got to be real stuff, it's got to be you, uh, so it's as professional as I can be as a non-communications professional, uh, but you've got to get out there and you've got to relate to your shareholders, yeah. and my shareholders are people like you and I. They're yeah. ordinary people, and they want to see an ordinary bloke or, or lady doing their thing, so you've got to get out there. And then I think the second part to it is, is you've got to almost be a thought leader in your area too as well. And uh, so I, I try and uh, aspire to be a thought leader in the diamond uh, and diamond exploration space and to some extent in the leadership space too as well, uh, because I'm, I've been uh, involved with Common Purpose and uh, a leadership development NGO uh, for over 20 years now. So th that's a real passion of mine too at the same time. 